everyone, it's Donna here, and I'm just coming on to show you a new journal that I just completed. Um, this one is uh, measures 5 inches by 7 inches, and that doesn't include the, the ruffle at the bottom there. It is a single signature, it's a soft cover. Um, I haven't done one in the kind of shabby chic style in a while, and I had made this cover, and it looked shabby chic to me, so I kind of went with it. Um, this one I am calling Virginia, and I will tell you why in just a minute. Um, there's lots of, of laces and fibers and just all kinds of yummy stuff coming out of all the edges. And there's a tassel with some, some bling in it and some pearls and just a bunch of, of laces and, and, and fabrics. And that's just held on with a bow pin so you can re remove it if you want. Uh, the closure is a uh, shabby chic, part of a one of my shabby chic snippets that I kind of uh, continued with some, some muslin. And it just has a bunch of little things that I sewed onto it to decorate it. And it's uh, finished on the inside. Uh, and the cover is made from some um, lace that was, I can't remember what this was. It was a part of a tablecloth, I do believe. And then I hand-stitched on this beautiful doily with a pink rosebud in the center. And it has the uh, ruffle that I added some Swarovski crystals to it. And another doily on the back side. And inside... There's some lace for a pocket on the inside, and my note from the bookma uh, bookmaker and a journaling tag here. Uh, there's a vintage embroidered linen that goes all the way to the back, and I backed it with some um, scrapbooking paper, which creates a, a big pocket in the front and the back, and there's nothing in, nothing in the pockets right now. Uh, just some stationery with some pretty butterflies. And in this pocket is a vintage baby card from the 1950s. And this is from Virginia and Edmund. And I know this is from the 50s because this is a um, baby card that my parents received when I was born. Um, they had, they kept all of those cards. I have a whole album full of these cards. And Virginia and Edmund are my great aunt and uncle. And here is Virginia and Edmund. I don't, these are, are pictures from one of my parents' photo albums. Look at those hats. Um, I'm not sure who they are. They might be, um, uh, additional great aunts because that side of my family there were I think 15 brothers and sisters on my grandfather's side so that's why this journal is named Virginia after my great aunt Virginia she, she was actually Aunt Ginny and Uncle Ed just some more stationery it says love always finds a home in the in the heart of a friend I did some stenciling um, throughout this journal, some uh, pretty ruffled trim there. This is a page from a children's book uh, from the 1940s, I think, if I remember correctly. And I didn't intend it to be this way, but there are lots of cats in this journal. Uh, there's one there. Uh, this is an, another embroidered piece from a tablecloth. Pretty embroidery. I made it into a pocket and there's a altered guest check in there. Um, this side has a journaling spot and this was inspired by Annalie who is Annalie Sternling um, and she has been a very big inspiration for me lately. Um, there, and she has a tutorial on how she made this on her channel and I'll put a link to her channel down below. Uh, just a, a card tucked in there. There's another journaling card that's been embossed, tucked in the side. 
And coming out of the top is another journaling card. And this opens up for more journaling inside. Um, this paper is from Ruby and Pearl XO. There's some hand stitching there. So get this back together. And this is just, and there's some more hand stitching there, holding the lace on. This is just paper clipped on so it can be removed if the journal gets too bulky. There's lots of place for journaling and doing your own decorations in this journal. Another piece of embroidery from a uh, piece of linen, cut from a piece of linen, and this is a French um, embroidery pattern. And there's the, the other pattern. Just some mulberry paper. And you can see through it yet another cat. This is a page from a, a book about cats. And some lace there. Another cat. This is a piece of one of my antique laces. Isn't that beautiful? Need some more um, lace at the top. Some more stenciling. Some uh, trim at the bottom here. Some dangle trim. This is yet another piece of embroidery from a tablecloth or a piece of linen. I'm not sure if it was a... Yes, this was a tablecloth. Actually, um, I'm going to be selling some pieces from this tablecloth uh, coming up. I'm not sure when. Uh, just another journaling card with some tatting on it. And this actually is open so you can tuck something in there as well if you want piece of uh, writing paper and this already had the the holes in it so I just ran some antique lace through it um, a piece from some fabric that I hand embroidered uh, to highlight some of the areas the green and the burgundy on the flowers and leaves and just another journaling card inside Just a little collage. I hand drew in some some lines on this paper to give some space for journaling. Um, and this is a hair clip with a pretty B on it. Isn't that pretty? Thought it was fitting for this journal. This is a scan from one of my favorite eco dyed papers that I made not too long ago. Some antique lace there. Some painty paper that I got from um, one of the Defy auctions, and I think it was Jean Peter that might have made this paper. I just did some fussy cutting and collage on the back side of it. Uh, this opens up for a lot more journaling in there. Just a snippet tab on this paper. It's made a belly band out of some lace and some ribbon. And another journaling card there. And more um, uh, po uh, poetry. And the strings in the center, there are some beads and pearls at the bottom of that. A um, doily flower. These are left over from the kits that I used to make, uh, used to sell. Another um, poem about flowers. Here's the fortune cookie in this journal. All of my journals have a little fold out that has a um, fortune in it. This is an altered paper clip. This comes off. Let's see. It's a paper clip. So you can clip something behind there. And I just uh, decorated it with some laces. If there's some interest, I can make some of these for to sell in my next journal supplies video. If anybody's interested, just send me a message or leave a comment down below. Uh, this folds open and it's held together with a magnet and inside it is a journaling card, a couple of couple of journaling cards. And that just 
snaps closed. The back side of that. This is from a piece of sari um, applique. More writing space. Some crochet. More of that stenciling. More poetry with some pretty pink trim. Cat and dog compared. Kind of funny, funny reading. The back side of the French embroidery pattern with a fussy cut flower. Just a little um, embossed pocket that opens up for journaling. And this is just um, a little lace sample card uh, from Sam Poole. The back side of that children's book, and there's an, yet another cat with some lace at the top, and a large pocket with a journaling card inside with some of my pretty ladies. And the lace is just peeking, peeking out of the side. Another doily flower, more lace, just a little embellishment. This is some stitched, uh, hand stitching on fabric. Inside this pocket, there's some stenciling back there. Inside this pocket is this pretty girl, pretty little girl, and another sample. Um, this beautiful antique lace. I've been hoarding that. And then in the back is the back side of that linen piece and another pocket inside there and then tucked into the back is just some extra paper for writing or for covering up anything any text and a little little booklet that I made just out of scraps of paper and there's the back so this is Virginia um, if she is still for sale the purchase information will do be down below. She'll be offered first to the people on my my wait list, my journal wait list. And if she doesn't get purchased by them, then the purchase information will be down below. If you would like to be put on my journal wait list, um, message me, send me an email, and I'll put you on my list. There's no obligation to buy, but um, I'll offer any journals to the people on my list and they can pass if they want to so that's all i have for today not sure what i'm doing this weekend but stay tuned and i also have my my uh, challenge going on it ends next week so you still have time to enter i'll put a link to that down below as well i hope to see some more entries come in and that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this journal, give me a thumbs up. And I'd love it if you would subscribe. I'm getting so close to my 4,000 subscribers now. So please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you later. Bye.